Wikipedia's results come back to us in an order that might seem random, but it's actually their internal page ID that's being used for sorting. That's why when we get our results here, we sort them alphabetically. It makes much more sense for our users. Now, there are lots of times you'll want to have some kind of custom sorting like we have right here. But more often than not, you'll find your data has some kind of natural sort order. Perhaps you have uh, new stories sorted newest to oldest, or contacts sorted last name, then first name, or whatever. And so rather than passing in an inline closure to our sorted function here, we are instead going to make our page struct conform to comparable. This is actually pretty easy to do. It's just a matter of moving code from our edit view into our page struct. And so we'll go ahead to our, our, our results type over here. Here's our page. Here I'll say you're both codable and also comparable. Now, if you remember, conforming to comparable has only one requirement. We must have a less than function that accepts two parameters of the same page struct and returns true if the first one comes before the second one. In this case, we can simply pass a test directly onto the title strings. And so we'll say in here, static func less than has a left-hand side of one page like that, I write inside of another page, and returns bool. And we'll say true if the left-hand side title is less than the right-hand side title, like that. So now Swift understands how to sort pages. As a result, this sorted call becomes much, much simpler. It'll make one for us a parameterless version of sorted that will work directly on these arrays. So we can now just say sorted. And it will use the internal less than function to do comparisons for us and sort the array correctly. Now, before we're done with this screen here, we've got to replace one little thing. Up here, we have page description here. This has got to go and we're replacing it actually real. Now, Wikipedia's uh, page result, sorry, does have a description, but it's really buried. It's very, very hard to find. And as a result, we've got to dig through stuff. Now, if you look in our code again, in our result thing here, this terms dictionary, that's where it is inside there. It's buried away, but this is actually optional in itself. If it does exist, it might or might not have a description key. And if it has a description key, it might be an empty array rather than an array of some text inside. This is... I don't know, it's not a nice way of saying it. This is mangy. <laughs> this is not nice to work with. And we don't really want to plague our main Swift UI code with this kind of mange. And so we're going to add a nice property here to clean it all up for us. We're going to say there's a description computed property right here. It'll return a string. It'll look inside the terms dictionary, which is optional. It'll find the description key, which may or may not exist. That's optional. If it is in there, the first item there is the one we care about. Send that back. But if there is no terms or no description or anything inside there, we'll just send back simply no further information like that. And with that in place, all the main just wrapped up in one place here. And so it won't spread like a plague through our code. We can now simply replace this text with text page dot description and get a much nicer layout. Let's press Command R now and see what we think. So I'll choose Liverpool, as close as I can get, there we go. Press and hold, and boom, we now get Admiral Grove straight away. Good click of me, I think, quite frankly. So I got it pretty accurate there. Um, so you can see it's now showing description correctly all in one place. And that completes edit view. We can edit the two properties, location, name, and description for annotation views. It downloads and sorts it from our Wikipedia query. It shows different UI, putting on most loading or loaded or failed. And it even carefully looks through Wikipedia's data to decide what can actually be shown on the screen.